Hey guys and welcome back to The Bearded Chef. Today we're going to go over a beetroot gnocchi with a sage and walnut brown butter sauce. Also just want to give a shout out to Connor at Brother Men's Stylist on Byers Road here in Glasgow. If you're in Glasgow, go get your hair cut by him. Looking fresh with this new do. Alright, so let's go over to the kitchen and we can get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is preheat our oven to 180 degrees, then place on a pot of cold water. We're going to put our potatoes in while cold and then turn it on high. Trim our beet tops and the bottoms off. Next, let's take some tin foil and we're going to make sure these are fully covered and wrapped. Place in the preheated oven in a tray and allow to cook for about one hour. Next we're going to get our mousse started. So we start with some double cream and we're going to whip this until stiff peaks. Put our softened goat's cheese into another bowl and add our milk. We're going to combine this until it is smooth, no chunks. Add the goat's cheese mixture to the stiff peaks and begin mixing again. Season this with a little bit of salt and then place this into a piping bag, making sure to seal up the end and then we're going to place this in the fridge to harden. Next, chop up our walnuts into a rough dice and we're going to place this into a hot dry pan. Let's toast these, it will take about 3 to 4 minutes. Put on a plate, allow to cool. In a small pot, let's add some oil and then we're going to pick some small to medium size sage leaves. Now that the oil is up to temperature, about 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to add these and they take about 20 to 30 seconds to cook. Make sure to get them out as quickly as possible. Let's place these onto a paper towel to soak up the extra oil. About an hour has passed, so our potatoes should be done just testing it with a knife. It should go through easily. Now let's place these onto the cutting board and allow them to cool. Beets should be done as well, so we'll take those out of the oven and test them with a knife again. It should go through easily. Unwrap these while they're still hot. And then take a dark colored cloth to peel the skins off of it, not wasting any of the flesh. Let's cut the top off of both of these and discard it. And then cut these into a rough dice. Place them into a blender with about two tablespoons of water and blitz until smooth. Place in a bowl and save for later. Peel the potatoes once they are cooled, trying to save the most of the flesh. Grate these into a large bowl and add an egg, whisk the egg in. Add the beets and some Parmesan cheese, followed by your flour. We're going to mix this until it starts to form a dough. Now on a floured countertop, you're going to start kneading this. Not too much, you don't want it to be tough. Place your pasta water on, and then we're going to cut this into six equal sizes. Flour your countertop again and start rolling out a log. You want it about to be about an inch thick. 
Once rolled out, we're going to cut these into even pieces and place them on a lined and floured tray. Now you can use the back of a fork to shape these or leave them as is. It's up to you. Once done, we're going to take some sage leaves and we're going to stack them and roll them. And we're going to cut these into a nice chiffonade. In a heated pan, add butter. While that's going on, add your gnocchi to your pasta water. Once they float, they're done. Once the butter starts to brown, we're going to add our chopped sage, followed by our cooked gnocchi. Now let's cook this off for about 30 seconds and then add our nuts. Give this another toss just to coat them and it's plating time. Just a side note here, you guys don't have to plate it how I'm plating it here. I was just trying to get fancy with it. If you guys enjoy my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe or share the video with your friends. Bearded Chef, out.